much of a poet, but I know somebody once told me to seize the moment and don't squander it. Cause you never good know morning, you know. good afternoon, good evening, whatever the case may be. We are back and better than ever with Kinematics Part 2. We are not going to squander the moment because we are doing calculus and we left off oh thank you sir isaac thank you gottfried how rude of me we left off we had finished part a we had found out that this particular particle had traveled five and two-thirds miles okay and we had used the displacement function by finding the integral of the velocity function so i'm going to give myself a little bit of room here i'm going to get rid of this okay and rid of that and we'll talk about um, finding the displacement. Now, the displacement should be pretty simple. Um, there's two ways you can do it. Displacement is simply um, S of 4 minus S of 0. Why is that? Well, it's S of 4 minus S of 0 because we're only interested in the first four seconds. And we want to know the distance from um, when we started to when we finished. And S of 0 is C, and S of 4 is C plus 5 and 1 third. So C plus 5 and 1 third minus C is equal to 5 and 1 third meters. So the displacement is 5 and 1 third meters. And the other way we could have done that is it's really the same thing. It's the integral from 0 to 4 of V of T, dt, right? Well... With that, you end up with the velocity function right here <clears throat> without the plus C since we have our bounds. And, and essentially, you're taking S of 4 minus S of 0. That's what we ended up doing anyway. And I'm not going to do that um, for you because it just comes out to be the same thing. Okay. So, one more example and we will be uh, done with talking about uh, kinematics. A particle is initially at the origin and moving to the right at 5 centimeters per second. Acceler it accelerates with time according to A of t equals 4 minus 2t. Answer the following without using a calculator. Okay, and so let's, let's, let's think about this. It's initially at the origin, and so that's important, and moving to the right at 5 centimeters per second. Okay, so to find, excel, uh, let's see, find the velocity function, all we have to do is take the integral of acceleration. So let's do that real quick. So that would be the integral of 4 minus 2t dt, yes, which would be equal to, and so this is velocity, I'll say v of t equals, so v of t equals 4t minus 2t squared over 2, so that's t squared plus c, okay? But we know that the initial velocity is 5 centimeters per second. An initial is when t equals 0. So when t um, equals 0, the velocity equals 5, okay? So that means 5 would equal 4 times 0 minus 0 plus c, which is equal to c, so velocity, V of t, my velocity function, is 4t minus t squared plus 5. And since we have to sketch its graph, I'm going to say, I'm going to rewrite that as negative t squared plus 4t plus 5. So we immediately recognize that as a parabola. And let's just do a quick sketch. They want us to do that. From 0 to 6 seconds, so this is 6, okay? So I know it's a parabola. Because of this negative, I know it's opening downwards, and I only care about from 0 to 6. And so this is t, and this is v of t, okay? And when t is 0, v of t is 5, so I have that. This is 5. And I can easily find the um, x-intercept. You should see that this is factorable. I'm not going to do the factoring. Um, uh, uh, you, hopefully you can see it. But if not, you would set this equal to 0, factor, and you would end up with t equal to 5 and t equal to negative 1. Well, negative 1's over here. I don't care. So my x-intercept is going to be 5, about there. Okay. So I have a parabola opening um, downwards. 
Um, this is not the vertex. If you're not convinced of that, find the x coordinate, or the t coordinate, I should say, which would be uh, negative b over 2a, or negative 4 over um, uh, 2 times negative 1. That puts the vertex somewhere here. So I will sketch it in blue, and my velocity function is going to look something like, oops, I missed the 5, and I'm kind of stretching to go here. So let's say this is 5. So it looks something like that out to 6 seconds. Sorry about the horribleness of that. Okay, so down here, oops, we'll make the point here. Okay, and it's going to intercept the y-axis somewhere along here. Let me extend that y-axis. Okay. All right, so we've done part A. So for part B, for the first six seconds of motion, determine the displacement of the particle. Well, the displacement is the integral of velocity, isn't it? So that would be, and it's from 0 to 6. The integral from 0 to 6 of a velocity function is negative t squared plus 4t plus 5 dt. So that would be equal to negative t cubed over 3 plus 4t squared over 2 is 2t plus 5t evaluated from 0 to 6. So all I really have to evaluate is the 6 because the zeros is going to knock is going the zero is going to knock everything out and to save time I will tell you that that is equal to oh wait a second I forgot the squared here shame on me hope you caught that uh, replacing t with 6 um, that will give me 30 okay so that will give me 30 um, okay, uh, that's the displacement. Um, also, since this is zero, this tells me that S of 6, this is the position function. So um, I might as well write that out there, S of t equals, so S of t equals this. So this, what this tells me, since this is zero, is that S of 6 has to be equal to 30. That becomes important for uh, B, uh, the second part of B, total distance traveled. Well, you remember from last time to do the total distance traveled, I need to do a motion diagram. I need to do a motion diagram, okay? And I'm only interested in the, um, from zero to six seconds, okay? So I'm gonna have to find S of zero, okay? Now, I had a definite integral here. So if I didn't have a definite integral, I would have had that s of t is equal to negative t squared plus 4t. Uh, oh, no, wait a second. What are, that's the velocity. Sorry. So that's negative t cubed over 3 plus 2t squared. I'm getting this from right here. Plus 2t squared plus 5t plus some constant c, right? And if I don't have specific values, I don't know what that constant is. But I do know that the initial position is at the origin. So at time um, t equals 0, the position is 0. So that means 0 would equal 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus c, meaning c equals 0, okay? So, um, fortunate, my displacement function is simply what I got when I did the original integration. Okay, so I know that S of 0 is 0, and then I move to the right, okay? But when do I, do I change directions? And how do I tell? Okay, how do I tell? And I know that this position, remember when you're doing a motion diagram, this is the position. And they told us the position starts at the origin, okay? So we're moving right. Do we change directions? Well, we have to look at our friend velocity. We have to look at our friend velocity. And the sign diagram, I have a sign graph right here. From 0 to 5, it's positive and moving to the right. And then from 5 to 6, it's negative and moving to the left. 
So my motion diagram looks something um, like this. Okay, and then it goes to the left, and then that's it. It keeps going to the left. So the total distance traveled, I'm going to have to find out how far it traveled from 0 to 5 seconds, and then from 5 to 6 seconds. And again, this is not time. This is position. So I have to find S of 5. Well, I will tell you that S of 5, if you replace T with 5 in here, I get S of 5 um, equal to 33 and 1 third. Okay, so right here, it's going to change direction at the position of 33 and one-third. And then we already know at six seconds, S of six is equal to 30. So the total distance traveled for the first five seconds, that's this distance here, right? Because this is five seconds. And then for, from 5 seconds to 6 seconds, it's a distance traveled right here. So this is 5 to 6 seconds. Okay. So for the first 5 seconds, 33 and a third minus 0 is 33 and 1 third plus. And then from 5 to 6 seconds, it moved backwards. So that would be 33 and 1 third minus 30, which is 1 third. So the total distance traveled would simply be 33 and 2 thirds meters. It's not that hard. It just requires a little bit of thought, um, a little bit of common sense. So there you go. Um, I believe I've done all the damage I can do here. Hope you enjoyed it, and we shall see you next time.